A long time ago, in a land of magic. Hello, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Arcane Odyssey. So, we're gonna try this again immediately. Well, actually I need to make a spawner first, so let's go over here. I'm gonna try this Etheria boss fight rematch. And I respect a little bit. I took the time stoppy things off. Time stoppy. And I put on damage. We're gonna stack we get 30% mystic damage, another 20% mystic damage, and then I'm going to keep this on for damage reduction, but then we also have this for 20% more destruction damage and two destruction power, and then this, the Stone of Etheria, which I forgot to put on last time. So, hopefully, where is this thing? Uh, it's this. It's the big smiley face. Anyway, let's go back home and... Took my boots off. Okay. Let's give this a try. Uh, we're zoomed out all the way. Let's get this and this. And buff. And let's go. I made some other potions too. But I'm going to try not to switch to... Uh... Here, hang on. we got to stop time here. Oh, you're not immune to time stop, Etheria? Interesting. That is very interesting, isn't it? Okay, well, we gotta dodge this. Because this did like 600 damage. We got hit by one of those and did just crazy amounts of damage. So now I'm gonna try to stick with destruction here because that's what we have uh, buffed damage-wise. We have an extra 20% destruction damage. Although actually, let me put these up uh, everywhere and then switch back. Okay. So I can't move. Can't move that fast. So far, so good. Just, I gotta remember that when I'm on the ground, put summon quark. Okay. Ow, that hurt. And now, let's try actually doing this. Because this thing does crazy amounts of damage. Let's get these back out. So stopping time doesn't work on... Okay. It just freezes the projectiles, I see. Whoa! Heal. Maybe we don't want to freeze Etheria's projectiles. Ow, man. Move. It's that thing, like... I don't know what mod is causing this, but when I come into contact with a boss or certain boss projectiles, it slows down poor Simon and it feels like you're trying to move through honey. Like it slows you down like that. So if we're not successful this time, I'm going to maybe, here, you know what? Cry in a corner someplace, ow. You would think that taking off the Ankh Shield would not be a good idea, which it probably isn't, but I'm thinking maybe the knockback will save me, you know, from getting stuck in things, because that's basically what's happening. Yeah. Well, now he's turning into the Brain of Cthulhu all over the place. It's not stop time. What about Precursor's Tome? This does a crazy amount of damage. Where's your shadow? Is it... Okay. Whatever. Okay, now he's Mr. Happy again. Very happy. Get these out. Oh my god, he's very angry. 
I don't know where those hearts are from. Oh my god! Okay, he's almost dead. Or she's almost dead. We've defeated Etheria and we're back in the real world again. We are back in the real world. We did it. And now we have things again spawning. Excellent. Truly excellent. We did it. Now we got these guys spawning all over the place. Sweet. Nice. We have escaped. We have escaped the ethereal. We got some legend ore. Now we are once again. Let me make it daytime here. Excellent. Really, really cool. Okay. I'm glad. Glad we didn't die again. But we got this high priestess. Allows you to enter and leave the ethereal at will as long as no powerful creatures are present to stop you. That's really cool. Hmm. Interesting. So yeah, you can't do that in the middle of a boss fight. Oh, but where are my guys? Where are they? Are they here? Wait, let me put my boots back on. And we're not in the ethereal anymore, so let's take these off. Uh, I may end up... We're gonna... Oh, wait, that we need to keep on. Keep Father Time back on. Um, put this back on. And we're not in the ethereal. Okay. See, because of this, I might actually end up fighting bosses while we're in the ethereal. Because we could use this. I'm going to keep that on me for now. Actually, we'll do like that. Okay. Uh, is there anything else I want to make with this? All the spawners and abysmal bars. We can make ethereal blocks. Hmm. We made this already. We don't need... We have the Drillatron. We're going to make ethereal... Ooh. Anti-ethereal block. What? So are these going to be... Visible only in the ethereal. I gotta check that. Okay, so I could just make the blocks. Let's do that. Where'd they go? My essence. There we are. So let's make, I don't know, 20 of these blocks. Let us, if this is the case, this is gonna be really cool. Let's just do, oh, I can't even place them when we're not in the ethereal. Oh, there we go. I did place them. That's... That... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, so they're solid. Oh my god, what? So we can make entire builds that we can't even interact with in the normal world. We can't see them. They don't show up on the map. But then... Okay, they don't show them up on the map here either. Maybe. Yeah. Whatever, that's still cool. That's actually very, very cool. Oh wow, this drill kind of <laughs> makes you, it launches you. Woo! Okay. That's really cool. I'm gonna have to make a bunch of these. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so we got that. Got these. Let me now take all this stuff and we're gonna sell everything okay and then we're gonna open these treasure bags these are gonna stay in there for now uh yes let's sell things hello you let me zoom back in a bit hey brook now let's sell everything that's not favorited please don't sell the wrong thing okay Already got that. Uh huh. All right. Apple. 80 silver. Okay. So we have 93 gold from that. Nice. And that's everything, right? I think. So for that chest, give me that. And then we're going to open these. Um,. And sell everything, probably, that's from that. Cool. Let me get rid of these chests. And... Okay. Boom. Alright. Let me... We're gonna just stack things in here. Boom. Uh, 
boom, boom, boom. We already have the Aya Cthulhu mask. We don't need that. Okay. Cookie Sam. We already have that too. Cookie. Okay, let me sell this stuff. Where are you at? Come here. You. You're in the wrong house. Oh, wait, that's not me. You know, this thing kind of trips me up. Uh, let's put this someplace else. I don't know where. Whatever. Keep that on for now. Uh, how do I teleport? There we go. I kept thinking that this was me. <laughs> Whatever. I'll get used to it. Oops. We could have kept them, but not that I really need them. Okay. Okay. Snowball cannon, go away. Frost essence. We don't need it. Uh, this, 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 this. I think maybe I'll keep this honeycomb just in case. Bee gun. Do we have a bee gun? I gotta check. Hive wand we have. We have that. Okay. Bee wax. I might as well keep the bee wax. Just in case. This. Go away. Okay. We got another... Wait. Oh, we got a supreme... Oh, no. I equipped it. I was like, what happened there? Um. Yeah, we don't need that. Okay. And then this. Skeleton staff. Go away. Tulanite. Okay. Go away. Legendary Book of Skulls. It's not a material. We don't want it. Too late. We got more of these cores. Yes. The world. We already have it. We don't need another world. Well, eventually. Eventually, we will. Okay. Oh, and we got the Destroyer Mask. We already had that. And there's bacon. Give me that bacon. Yes, we don't need the mask. You could just get trashed. Who cares? All right, now, make sure all this goes in there. Uh-huh, yes. Yes. Bacon, boom. These go in there. Do we have a uh, honeycomb? Oops. Yes, we do. That could get sold. Do we have a bee gun? B we do. Okay, these both get sold. And now, okay, so there's that. We have four platinum from that take. Sweet, or four platinum was the take. 42 platinum. See, I don't even know what, what I need money for anymore during this playthrough. Uh, I mean, it's not like I make a bunch of these. Yes. Then we can make a bunch of these. Well, I won't make them yet. I can make a build that's... Hmm. I'm thinking about this. That's like part of it is visible only when you're in the ethereal. And part of it is visible only when you're not in the ethereal. I might have to do some transferring of these blocks to another world. You know what I mean? At some point. A little FMT action. Um, okay. I think maybe we'll finish our tower out of those blocks, too. or We'll use them up here someplace or just add details and things. Anyway, now. I'm going to keep all that on me. Let's use this. And let's go. Let's fight another boss, shall we? Um, Who's next? Probably, you know what's next? Hmm. Gatekeepers. We're going to go for the gatekeepers right now. Dark ritual piece. Okay. Can we make a dark? We can. All light shall be gone and seek audience with the great beyond. Good luck. Have fun. Okay. We can make. Okay. We got enough to make more. Now. So that is the next one. Besides the frost moon. Which we will do the Frost Moon soon. There are a few bosses. There's Eddie, who we need to get. In order to summon Eddie, we need uh, a plague to break out in our town again. Which may happen. <laughs> it might happen at some point. 
Now, is there any... I keep going up there to look for NPCs, but is there anyone here? Nobody is here. You fools. Okay, it looks like we got to do this without potions. I mean, we have a few. Whatever. If we beat Ethereal without potions, we'll beat this. Look at that. That's cool. That's very cool. Nice. Okay. Um, does this have to be during the day? During the day? The gatekeepers. Where do we do this? All light shall be gone. Well, it's the dark ritual piece. It's probably got to be... Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Stop it. Okay. Yeah, we. this is still on. Let's just do it. Yeah. Okay. Buff. Oh, my God. We got giant worms. Ow. Oh, my God. Okay. Fly. Fly, you fool. <laughs> <laughs> I see your faces. Let's stop time. So nothing is immune to time stop. Huh. It's like we're stopping time, but only our projectiles are stopped. The bosses aren't getting affected by that. What is... Oh my god. Well, the first gatekeeper is... Not doing too good. First gatekeeper's almost down. Well, still has quite a bit of HP, but not that bad. Uh, let's... I just wish that I could... <laughs> I mean, the FPS, man. It's crazy. You, want, you like Pyro, Mancy? Oh, final gatekeeper, huh? Wow, you're getting totally wrecked. Totally wrecked. Like, that was not even... That was just, like... Ha-ha. Oh, no. Is that gonna kill me? Yeah, probably. Wait, that's... I'm shooting that. Oh. Oops. Okay. So, that was cool. What do we get? Boop. We get... Void Titanite. Pulsates with an unnatural aura... Consists of a texture not of this world, like jelly or sludge, yet at the same time can be perceived as perfectly solid. It messes with your mind. We got more dissonance and we got illusion breaking bit. Call upon the great abyss to stop your foes dead in their tracks. Does not work on bosses or some, and some other enemies. That's one of the enemies it doesn't work on. <laughs> and more greater healing potions. Okay. Excellent. Good. Now, let's put this in here for now, because we're going to take a look at that again at some point. But for now, uh, potions. Let's put these. Oh, I'm not keeping them in there, I guess. Go in there. And dissonance can go in there. And now, what else? Um, let's see. Abyssal ingots. Yeah. Adamanti Forge. Go in. Is that it? Yeah. Go in there. Abyssal ingots. Make as many as I can make. Now, give me this. We only have 23. Okay. Dark light. Yeah. I don't have this, though. I don't know if I can make it. We have that. We just got that. Doom Reaver, no. Um, yeah, okay. No. Eternal Eclipse, enshroud all in dark and light. We don't have a heat ray. Not yet, anyway. Familiar Crest, yo, yo. Oh, this, wait a minute. Shadow Flame Hex Doll. I don't think I have one of those, do I? Wait, what is this called? Idol of Cthulhu. Oh, we got to put these back. Actually, wait, what else? Idol of Cthulhu. And... This set of armor, which I'm not going to make. Yet. Anyway. Tanazoet. Oh, we can make this now. I can make that right now. 454, summon intense bolts of arcane lightning. That looks tasty. 
Looks very tasty. Nope. Don't want that. And okay, so I want this. That looks amazing. Summon a manifestation of great Cthulhu. Cthulhu. Okay, I need a Shadow Flame Hex doll. Do we have one? Shadow. We do not. You know what we're doing, guys? You know what I'm doing right now? We're getting one of these. Let's see. Do we have everything else we need? Um, Idol of Cthulhu. Let's see. We have these. We have plenty. Look at that. <laughs> We have 3,436 from fighting Mithril Slimes. We have eight of these. We got these bars. How much do we need for Tanazoet? Five. Let's make the Tanazoet. And then we just need that. Okay. So. Boom. Go in there. And this can go in there. Excellent. All right. Tanazoet. Yes. Why not? Ancient Manipulator? Why? Why do you give me all the materials I need except for that? <laughs> I have all the materials I need, but I can't make that. Okay, so hold on. Here, let's get the... Uh, just so I don't forget. Get this back out. And then... Idol of Cthulhu. Do we need a Ancient Manipulator for that, too? No. That we could potentially make. So, do I have any... No. Right? I don't see it. Okay. Goblin Battle Standard. Make... Why can't I make it? I only have four of these. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? Alright, well, that's what we're doing. Oh, man. What? Uh, give me goblins, please. Here, daytime. Goblins. Do it. Can I trigger them just by doing this? Probably not. I'm gonna tear another hole in reality. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, well, we're basically just about out of time anyway. So I'm going to end this one here, and then next time, we're going to definitely, we're going to fight the goblins. I will wait for that. We may do a frost moon as well, maybe in an event episode. Oh, it's definitely going to be an event, guys. And then the anomaly. Ah. Oh. Ooh. Okay. And then the ancient. Then Crystal King. Then Duke Fishron, then Lunatic Cultist, then the Event, then Moon Lord, then the Cosmic Sludge, then Elijah, Jumbo Cactar, Eye of Fallen Souls, SAX, Meteor Zoid, Gilgamesh and Enkidu, Astrolith, the Unholy Emperor, and then Cytocore. Cytocore from Erlipa. Nice. And then we're going to go back and do some of these things we skipped and missed. But until then, I'm going to bid you adieu. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. I need all my townspeople to come back too so I can infect them with another dark plague of death. Anyway, see ya. Have fun. <laughs>